I think the car looks uh, more sporty. It's a little bit more, uh, how to say, race car. Uh, sharper edges and I think the aerodynamic speaks for its own. It's always nice to develop something that is already good because this year's Dakar we've seen that the car was competitive and reliable and uh, just to try and squeeze even more performance out of it, it's a big pleasure. For this time of year is a lot of uh, training, yes, basic endurance strength to just keep all the body alive, so to say, and uh, just uh, waiting for the months to come before the, the rally where we then will train a bit harder and then also have a bit of relax before we go there. I think the biggest uh, impression is how tight the time schedule was, everything was just in time and then once going to the first stages to, to see where the performance was and to get the first results. Uh, the curiosity of, uh, of wanting to know before you know and uh, then once the rally was going I think everybody realized that we are competitive and then it was a lot of fun. And knowing the team members is always nice and uh, especially when you are staying together for so long and uh, I think now for the second try we go there it will be also a bit more relaxed for the entire team. Uh, I mean Emil and myself we were there already once but uh, many were there the first time so especially the team from Audi Sport uh, have been new to Dakar so I think generally it will be doing a lot of similar things but probably with 10 uh, rate of heartbeat lower. Yeah, for me it was the first Dakar in a real car and uh, I learned a lot especially when it comes to the high speed sections and even more navigation and uh, me and Emil we are collecting every day more experience so I think you would say we learned a lot but nothing really in specific so it's just collecting all those kilometers to become more comfortable in going and, uh, at that pace. I think to change things it's very difficult, you just have to fine tune what is already in place and uh, when it comes to details, you know, it's just uh, a lot of details and uh, most of them details are something you have to just discuss with the team, what makes more sense to do, what pays off in performance, or what is just nice to have that you're more comfortable. I've learned a lot and uh, in, the, in general, it's a lot of details. I mean, the big things we knew already, so it's more to fine tune all the details together to in the end uh, get a very good result uh, out, of the, out of the rally. But again, uh, for being there the second time, we still have a lot to learn, of course, but mainly it's a lot of details. There's not much uh, big things. It's again, uh, I think we had uh, most of the things were in place already at the first try. Uh, when again it comes down to detail, if I could sleep better, if I could eat better, you know, you know, there's many, many, many small things that in the end will make a difference if we go there and win the rally or not. So keeping the energy high over the uh, rally is uh, one key and now the rally is uh, a little bit longer than last year. So yeah, let's hope for um, that all the details uh, we are thinking of is good enough. I think Dakar will always be special because it's so long and it's the hardest rally on the planet and uh, when you're there and you're driving you also find out why so uh, I would say the length and uh, is the biggest one. I want to go together with Emil and make a Dakar where we can show our best performance that means try to do good navigation good driving and uh, then we will take the result uh, that comes out of that so uh, we are still uh, rookies in the car category and we're staying very humble and we'll do our preparation, our hard work and uh, hopefully it will lead to something good.